Merry Christmas. Hope you had a fantastic holiday and you're enjoying yourself at home. Uh, Albert and Jane Lund were enjoying themselves on their Christmas and they saw what they think maybe is a bobcat outside of Angel Fire. Pretty close there. Neat shot. Keep them coming, folks. Want to see your holiday pictures, Christmas lights, Christmas trees, all that jazz. Send them to report it at krqe.com. We've had a pretty nice day out there. You can see this ridge of high pressure, kind of a narrow ridge, but it's kept being, uh, keeping us very sunny and uh, very good conditions. We had a cool night last night. We're going to have a cool one again tonight. Uh, really no precipitation to worry about. Things are going to start to change, though, so we're going to be cl calm and mostly clear for your Sunday and um, even as we get into the beginning of the week it'll be pretty nice for a good portion of the state this ridge will eventually start to break down by the middle of the week as we head into Sunday and Monday a little weak trough does dip down and that'll help us to maybe fire off some chances um, for some snow and rain in the northwest but not a lot of moisture associated with this thing but as we get into the middle of next week that's when we're really going to start to see things change up this system will come off of the Pacific and hopefully, and a lot of the models are showing this, it's going to really um, usher in a decent amount of moisture. We'll get a nice southwest flow going, and that'll help pull up some moisture from the Pacific. So we'll look to see this storm impact um, the area by Wednesday, and then hopefully really start to get some snow and rain going in. So if we can get enough uh, moisture up with this thing, we'll start to see snow spreading from west to east. Now, what it's looking like, what's different about this storm from the other ones we see, it, the models are really pulling this moisture down quite a bit. I mean, even into the southern Gila, places like Silver City might be even getting some snow, and the snow-starved Sacramento Mountains hopefully getting some snow out of this thing, too. We're looking at rain right now, and there'll be some cool air behind this that's really, really going to drop temperatures. It's just how much moisture will still be around um, to help us fire off snow in the far eastern, uh, southeastern reaches. So this could be a decent-sized storm. We're we're going to need a couple more days and a few more model runs to find out exactly who gets what out of this thing. But so far, it's looking pretty promising. So we'll keep you up to date on that. 47 degrees right now in Albuquerque. Winds are south southeast at three miles per hour. So if you're going on a nice uh, Christmas stroll this evening, you should be good. A light jacket uh, would do you just fine. 14, uh, 42 right now in Farmington, 36 in Taos. We're in the 30s in Durango, still fairly warm in Silver City, and near 50 right now in Roswell, 44 in Clovis. Pretty cool night coming up. If you thought uh, the past couple of days were cool, wait do you see our overnight lows coming up in your seven-day forecast. For a lot of us, temperatures are going to drop like a rock. So a high of 48 in Farmington tomorrow, 45 in Durango. A very slight rain chance, but uh, I'm not seeing much coming out of this at all. Very, very moisture starved. But we start to ramp up our snow chances by the middle of the week. And look at these temperatures just plummet. From Thursday to Friday, we go from a 33 to a 24 to 18. An overnight low of negative 5 in Durango and a low of seven in Farmington. So it's going to be uh, very cold and some serious winter weather coming our way. Southwest New Mexico, mostly sunny and nice tomorrow. Mid-50s for most of us. 61 in Lordsburg, 60 in Deming. Mid-50s in Socorro. In southeast New Mexico, fantastic weather. Calm and sunny. 57 in Portales will be in the low 50s in Ruidoso and 43 in Cloudcroft. Near 60 in Carlsbad. That's unseasonably warm for this time of year, you bet. And then uh, Roswell seven-day forecast shows pretty good temperatures and then getting some chance for some rain by the end of the week and over in northeast New Mexico, a beautiful day up there, a little breezy at times, maybe see some 20 mile per hour gusts, nothing too crazy. Uh, hold on to your hats and uh, small dogs, you should be just fine. Breezy and isolated rain in the northern mountains possible, very, very slight chance. Uh, that's not looking great either, but uh, we're not going to rule it out of the question. And as we look to the seven day forecast in Santa Fe, we see our better chances for precip by Thursday. A little too warm there on Thursday, 41 degrees, but we will drop those temperatures quickly, 32 on Friday and down to 26 degrees. So uh, temperatures are falling fast by the end of the week over in the East Mountains. Pretty nice conditions out there, sunny and mild. And downtown Albuquerque, it's going to be a wonderful Sunday to wrap up your holiday weekend. We'll be in the 50s for the most part. Seven-day forecast is looking good here as well until about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday time frame. You see those temperatures dropping like a rock and uh, hopefully some rain and snow uh, mixed in there. Ooh, not looking forward to that. It's going like to be probably some of the coolest air we've seen so far. Okay. Thanks, Ian. Mm -hmm. And here's a look at tonight.